Welcome to VS Garage, I'm Steve. And, like any good millennial, I am addicted to my cell phone. And more than just my cell phone, I am addicted to GPS navigation. I really can't function without it. So when I'm riding around on my 2016 Yamaha FZ07, and I'm using navigation, and I don't have my phone plugged in, it might die, and then how do I check our Instagram and YouTube likes? Can't do it. And that's a big bummer. One of the little-known easter eggs on the Yamaha FC07 is that they actually include a port for a 12-volt auxiliary load. Thing is, there's very little documentation on how to actually use that auxiliary port. So what I'm going to do today is install this USB charger onto this motorcycle so that when I'm riding around, I can plug in my phone and have power all day while I'm using GPS or whatever TikToks I'm doing. So let's get started. Come on over here and I'll show you where the port is on the bike. So the bike has already been stripped down. We took off the plastics and the gas tank. And if you want to know how to do that, watch our video on spark plug change and air filter cleaning and some other stuff that is also on the channel. So. You can go do that if you need to know how to strip the bike down. While the bike is stripped down, we can get in here underneath where the fuel tank would normally go and find this little guy. And this is actually our 12 volt outlet. From the factory, it comes with the female and the male connectors included. If you're out on the forums, you may find that some people trying to use 12 volt power actually cut this off because they don't know that this is a plug that you can use. I'm going to say don't do that. We're going to show you how to actually wire this up instead of doing it in an irreversible way. So here you can see that I can actually take this off and we do have, well, I got this backwards before, but we have the male end and then we have the female end. And they even plug this part off for you so the water doesn't get inside. But what we can do is actually wire into this so that we have something that just makes up. And so we're going to go upstairs to another workbench to actually do the wiring to use this plug. Okay, I'm going to wire up the connector for Steve's battery charger. So what we have to work with here on the female side of the OEM connector is, is plastic and it doesn't have any of the metal connecty bits that you need. So um, you can actually order those online and we'll include a link in the description of this video to where you can pick up the electrical components you need to make this work. But these little terminal guys here are gonna fit in there and we're going to squeeze them around some wire. We've got little insulator ends here. So I'm gonna do some cutting, and some sticking, and some stripping. Ooh, good action on that one. So what I just cut one end off of is your typical SAE connector that you can pick up at a hardware store down the road and um, it's what fits into the other end of this USB charger and you've got your exposed and plastic bits covering the, the positive and negative terminals so you can't accidentally reverse it and fit together nicely. I only needed one side of it, the other side I need to actually strip off. Oh no, it's stranded all alone. It doesn't know where to go. Stranded and vulnerable. This video is going in a weird direction. Exposed to the <laughs> elements. <laughs> All right. Okay. So we want our little insulating guys here. The gauge is a little bit thick for these, so I'm trying to make it work. All right. So I put the little insulating caps on the end there. So we want to squeeze that guy right up in there. This should go right into the open part here. And then this guy should just squeeze it right into it. 
All right, so that's one of them. One of the things you want to make sure that you check, and it's actually pretty easy because on the bike, the wires are red and white too. Um, don't get the polarity reversed on your wiring. So we actually marked the female end of our connector with a little plus so that we wouldn't goof when we're wiring it up. One more wire to go. All right, that should do it. We've got our little metal connectors inside of the female plastic housing, and that should meet right up to the male side on the bike. And then this end, via the SAE connector, plugs into the USB charger. Super easy. So we thought we were being clever. I talked about polarity and making sure we got it right, so we were paying attention and how this SAE connector is standard and should get the polarity right. We got plus on this side, minus on the plastic side, but you'll note our red is on the metal side that goes into the ground side here. So if we match it up red to red and white to white, it would actually be reversed. So I had to pop the connectors out, the little terminals out of this, this thing and reverse it. And now I've got my white wire going into the positive side and my red wire going into the ground, which is what this needs in order to make this work, but it makes this confusing. So something to be aware of. We weren't quite as slick as we thought we were, but now it'll work. So she's gonna pop right onto there. So we should have a nice good connection with that end. Then we connect this end. All right, and now the accessory port should be hooked up to that USB plug. Okay, whose phone is the guinea pig? Your phone! <laughs> All right, so the bike's on. USB-C, plug in. It's charging! Success. That was pretty easy. So there we go. The often unused 12-volt accessory port on the Yamaha FZ07 and MT07. Now it's hooked up and I can play with my phone while I'm riding. Because let's be honest, that's really what's going to happen here. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe and to ring the bell for notifications. We'll be doing other modifications to the FZ07 and all of our other vehicles as well, so follow along with that. If you need to know how to get from this stage of an FZ07 back to everything reassembled, you can check out our spark plug video and that's gonna help you out with that. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.